Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna do something we did a while back ago, probably last year sometime. I don't remember exactly when, but it was a while ago. We're gonna do a pistol suppressor comparison, kind of a blind tasting, if you will. The host we're gonna use today is going to be the Glock 48 MOS, right? It's got different slides and stuff on it, but who cares? Hopefully it's gonna cycle for us today. We're gonna to spray some lube on it and hopefully everything runs well. I really, really hope so. Um, we're using S15 mags, another thing we're testing out. But specifically, we're gonna be going over four different suppressors, all right? Two are dead air, one is, an, is a uh, silencer co, and one is a Form 1 JK Armament can. So the JK Armament can, this is three baffles, all steel construction except for the uh, end cap pieces, whatever. Um, it does have a booster in it, so this thing should be fine, knock on wood. Um, but this is bored out pretty heavy, or pretty big, it's like a 45 caliber. But we have that guy closely behind him or whatever i don't know which order well that's the thing is you won't know what order i'm going in the omega 9k y'all have seen and heard and should know this guy it's a solid solid nine millimeter can one of the best ones out there in my opinion one of the best ones out there depending on your on what role you want it to take um we also have which didn't fall on the ground the wolfman we're going to be shooting this in the short configuration uh just to kind of keep it in line with everything else just kind of uh, but in the short configuration and then we also have the Dead Air Odessa, this guy right here. We're going to shoot this in the long configuration, um, but really if you consider the volume of the cans, they're probably all g around the same, generally around the same, even though this guy's longer, he's a lot skinnier. You can tell this guy's a lot skinnier. So the other cans are going to have probably even still an advantage of volume, I'm not exactly sure. But we're going to run these, we're going to see what they do. And this is gonna be the deal. Um, like I did before in my video, and I know other people, cause I'm kind of stealing it from another guy's channel. Uh, what we're gonna do is, you know what suppressors are out here now, okay? We're going to fire three rounds of supersonic. We got Tula, right? Just regular Tula ammo, 115 grain Tula, supersonic stuff. And then that will be followed by three rounds of subsonic, right? As long as everything cycle right, cycles right, we should be able to get this, um, but three shots of subsonic ammo. What that should do is just give you a comparison in the ear as much as this Sennheiser whatever microphone can get you. Just try to play along and see if you can guess which suppressor is which one. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Not in this order, obviously, but try to figure out which one, which suppressor sounds the best to you. And at the end, I'll show you which ones, you know, which ones ran and which ones I thought was the quietest. Because um, it is always hard to tell over the microphone and stuff. But again, we have the Dead Air, um, the Dead Air Odessa 9, right? This is a specific 9mm can, a, a um, dedicated 9mm can. We have the Dead Air Wolfman. Right, this guy is a nine millimeter can, but you can shoot a bunch of other stuff through it. Five, five, six. Uh, I, I'm not sure about three oh eight, but a lot of thirty cal stuff. Seven, six, two. As long as you use the right adapters and stuff, but it is a nine millimeter can. Bored out for nine millimeter. Not overboard. It's bored out for nine millimeter. Um, the Silencer Co Omega Nine K, a beautiful nine millimeter can, can handle a lot of different stuff. You can shoot seven, six, two. Um, not 5.56, five, right? You can do 300 blackout and stuff like that, but it is a dedicated 9mm can. This is a 9mm can. And then this guy, kind of our wild card for today, this is the JK Armament Form 1 can. So I built it, right? I uh, did the forms on it and all that kind of stuff, and it is drilled out to 45 caliber. So this is a large bore suppressor, shorter, but we'll see. We'll see. I've actually never even shot this one, so I don't even know what it's going to sound like. Hopefully it works. All right. Three rounds of supers and three rounds of subs. Suppressor number one, here we go.
All right, so I did not get the long range picture videos, whatever, where I backed way up and it probably, you could hear it a little bit better if I did that, but we're time constraint and ammo restraint right now. So maybe I'll do that. If y'all really like this video, then I will do that for you. I will have no problem with that. But if five people watch the video, it's not really worth it. All right, but yes, the gun, eh, kind of cycled fine. I had a little bit of issues. Again, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on when you have a highly modified pistol. You've got brand new magazines, right? And you've got a bunch of different suppressors. So sometimes it's just finicky, sometimes it's mag, sometimes I don't know what it is. But the suppressors are what we're looking at right now, not those. So number one was the Omega 9K. The Omega 9K. This guy, again, it's just a good, just a solid good can. It sounded really good. I remembered it. It sounded really good. Even with the supers, he sounded pretty good. It was not bad at all. Um, subs, obviously subs out of a 9mm can are good. These all had a little bit of oil in it, so they were all kind of shot wet because um, I lubed up the, uh, the cams and everything, or the piston. Um, speaking of cams, I used cam locks on all these suppressors, the Griffin Armament cam lock making it extraordinarily easy um, to just take the suppressor on, take the suppressor off. If you if you use pistol suppressor cans, get a Griffin Armament cam lock system, you will not regret it. Anyway, jumping back onto the thing, um, anyway, the Omega 9K did good. It did, it did good. That was can number one. Can number two was the Wolfman, right? Wolfman's a big can, right? He's nice and fat and thick. I think he's probably the fattest one that I have here. Probably the one with the most volume. To be completely honest, probably the one with the most volume. And he sounded really good. With supers, he was pretty good. With subs, you could tell with subs, at least to my ear, he was really quiet. He did a very, very good job in my opinion. Um, moving on to number three, you probably guessed it since I already told you this guy was bored out to a 45 caliber. The JK Armament can was loud. It was very It was very poppy, very loud. Not very comfortable to shoot. I wouldn't recommend doing this a whole lot without your pro on. Um, subs was okay. Subs was fine was not really quiet, but it was, excuse me, it was not really quiet, but it was fine. It was doable. Supers, mm, had a lot of bark to it, all right? Last but not least is the Odessa 9, the dead air. the Dead Air Odessa 9. This guy did good. He did very well. I, I would say, surprisingly, he did very well. And if I was to be 100% honest, and I know it probably sounds like whatever, the Dead Air cans, in my opinion, did the best. Um, which one actually sounded the best best? It's really hard to tell. They sounded very similar. I almost want to say the subs sounded better out of the... Uh, out of the uh, uh, Wolfman, and the Supers sounded better out of the Odessa. I don't know if that's really true. I don't know how much of that is just my ears, which are all messed up and everything. I have no idea. But let me know what y'all think. Um, I thought this was fun. I thought this was very interesting to try out, at least. Um, and, you know, it, it's 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 good to get a grasp of what these suppressors sound like before you actually go out and get one, right? It's, it's, it's a big investment to buy a suppressor, and yeah, relatively, but... If you can know what it sounds like compared to other cans, it might help you make that decision a little bit better. So how'd you do? Which ones did you think was the loudest? Which one did you think was the quietest? Um, I'd really like to know what y'all thought, uh, how it came across on the microphone. I'd really, really uh, appreciate your feedback on that, all right? Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, and everything, and hopefully we'll catch y'all in the next video. One bonus suppressor for me to know you to find out. Let me know what you think this guy might be.
what y'all think.